Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, this video is basically a video that I decided to make because a lot of people are commenting asking me about where I farm or where I should where you should be farming to get as many Gemini's as possible. Now, at the time of recording, I do have quite a lot of Gemini, I think. I have I already have a Evil 3 light one. I have these all Evil 2 and I have a whole bunch of um, you know, fire ones as well. I'm also currently number 1 in capture league, I think. Yeah, I'm currently number one in Capture League, and I've caught a lot of exotics, but a lot of people do actually have more exotics, like the number two guy, he does have like 60 more exotics. I'm basically only number one because I, you know, have more legendaries, also have more rares, so maybe, yeah, maybe he just got better luck, you know, in catching exotics. This guy's got 36 as well, you know, so there's definitely a lot more people that do have more catches than me. That one has 33, wait, how many do I have? I have 35, alright, that's that's actually quite a lot. Um, but anyways, I wanted to make this video kind of to um, talk a little bit about farming for farming for exotics. Um, now, this is, there's not really that much to talk about, like, I, I, um, I can't really say anything besides, you know, like, I, I literally cannot give you any more recommendations besides farm harder, but I'm going to be going through the difference between farming the three modes and farming like different maps and stuff. It, it's all situational, it depends on your current um, team that you're using to farm with, as well as your current gem quality, as well as, you know, if you have like gem, special gem sets like Siphon and stuff like that. Now, if you're a new player, um, you might actually be, be thinking that like, you know, Extreme Mode has a higher chance to spawn monsters, but contrary to, you know, that popular belief it actually doesn't actually it's not that popular well if you've played the game for a while went through a lot of events a lot of people would, would tell you that um, it, there's no evidence that shows that extreme mode has higher spawn rate than normal mode and I don't think so either because it's basically just um, you know you run through modes and you you encounter monsters so there's really no reason for um, you know extreme mode to have a higher higher spawn rate um, although it sounds like it like it sounds logical, but it doesn't. Um, it's not the way it is in this game. So extreme mode doesn't have, or extreme and hard mode doesn't have. Um, you know, more more exotics than normal mode. You don't get higher encounter rates the higher difficulty that you get. But you do actually get some special bonuses while you're farming. Now, if you're a completely new player, and or if you're someone that only cares about getting the exotic monsters, um, this doesn't apply to just Gemini. This, this applies to all forms of farming exotic monsters. I'm basically following like the a, a recommendation given to me by Asian Elite. Um, I actually asked them on stream yesterday. Like a lot of people were asking me how to make a farming video, and I was like, I'm I'm super confused because I <laughs> I literally cannot give you guys any advice besides you know just farm, use your fastest team as fast as possible. Now, uh, with that, with me, with uh, the the whole thing about Extremo not giving you better spawn rates being said, you literally should just be farming the map that you have the fa fastest clear time on. Now, if you can farm, like for example, if you can farm F Phantom Forest, um, if you can get through the whole entire map on no normal mode in only 30 seconds, it's going to be more efficient than you farming Star Sanctuary. Like, if you're a completely new player on Extreme and it takes you, like, two minutes, you know. Um, if you can do the first map in 30 seconds versus the the last, like, this this map in, you know, two minutes, uh, you basically get four times higher efficiency on, on if you're only talking about farming exotic monsters while you're farming on Phantom Forest on normal mode. So, um, it really only depends on how fast you can clear the maps. You, there, there are a lot of ways to actually get faster clear time. Um, you want to take advantage of like monsters with morale boost. I think morale boost is definitely one of the strongest skills, and it's actually one of my favorite skills. If you've been following me for a long time, ever since I started playing the game, I've very, very, very highly, <laughs> highly valued morale boost. I think morale boost is definitely one of the, um, the, the more useful skills in the game, especially in, if you want to farm really fast because it basically just gets your bar up faster and you can spam your AoEs more and if you have like high enough dam damage to basically one shot anything in the wave um, moral boost really helps as well because you're able to basically kill a monster and you know at, you'll get your AoE up the, the tr like in two three turns and then you will spam your AoE and then if you're lucky and you have like really lucky the blue souls um, go onto your monsters you will be able to you know spam a little bit harder 
and you know clear the wave a little bit faster if you have like pretty decent RNG. So I think morale boost is definitely really really nice. It gets your bar up faster during the first wave. It also guarantees that you get your bar up like after the first wave in like um, well there's no guarantee but there's a high chance that you will get your bar up in either like right after the turn you do your AoE or the turn after that. So you basically you save about you know three four seconds of of time um, each time that morale boost helps you get your bar full versus times when you don't have morale boost and it doesn't get your bar full. You know, it basically saves you three or four seconds more. Um, now, I'm gonna, I'm, the next thing I wanted to talk about is actually farming, like farming efficiency in in the three different modes. Now, on normal mode, um, the the advantages of farming normal mode is if you're a new player, you will be able to clear normal mode a lot faster than farming extreme mode because extreme mode has you know higher level units. You might be able, not be able to one shot them, but you know these monsters on normal mode are really really low level, really easy. Um, even if you're a completely new player with like only three or four star monsters, you should still be able to one shot these monsters no problem. So um, if you're f if you're only thinking about farming as many exotics as as possible, normal mode is definitely the way to go because you can clear it a lot faster than if you're farming on extreme mode. Now this obviously doesn't matter for late game players because maybe you have like a very very strong team that's able to farm um, extremely fast. So. Yeah, the, that's that's one of the advantages. This, the second advantage is you actually get the same amount of player XP. Now, player XP for higher level players does not matter at all, but player XP for um, low level players does actually make quite a lot of difference. Every single time that you level, you actually get energy. Like every, it I think it refills your energy to full. You also get one extra um, maximum energy every single time that you level. So you want to increase your H your energy pool a little bit higher this way. Um, you waste less energy because like if you're say for example um, This 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 thing's always like counting down, but if your energy is full it won't be counting down So you basically want to get to the point where your energy um, Your maximum energy is higher than like s some of the stuff you get from the box because if I if I have 70 max energy I can collect like if you know these 10 energy packs I can collect seven of these at, at the same time and my energy will still be regenerating it's not too much of a difference because but it does add up over time so you'll be able to get like maybe one or two or three more energy per day if you never let this um, max out and basically just grab your energy until like for, for me um, until it gets to like around 70 or something like that so you definitely do want to level like the, there's there's a lot of um, advantages early on in actually getting higher higher player level and farming on normal mode and extreme mode and farming on any diff every Every map, I, I'm not too sure, but I think um, maybe extreme mode has a slightly higher energy, but it doesn't it doesn't um, give you as much efficiency. Like the amount of energy that you spent uh, doesn't give you the, the s like same amount of return per energy spent in terms of X player XP. So normal mode has higher efficiency in, in players XP. So it'll help you level a little bit faster if you're a newer player. I guess that's kind of fair because you kind of want things to balance out. You want new players to level faster and you want old old players to not level as fast. So you know eventually the new players can catch up to the old. Um, so that's that's one of the other advantages. Now that there's also a higher efficiency in in um, energy per encounter rate or for for exotic monsters because if if normal mode and extreme mode has the same encounter rate for exotic monsters you're only spending three energy to try to encounter these monsters versus five energy um, now this is this is actually I don't know. Like a lot of people do, do like to farm on normal mode when they're only farming for exotic monsters because maybe they don't need any other. Like they, for example, they don't need to level monsters. They don't need to really do anything on the story maps. They're really only farming the story for exotic monsters. And I think for those people, I would definitely recommend you farm on normal mode as well because it saves you more time as well. Because you'll you'll be able to, um, you know, you'll spend less less energy and that's less time doing like sliming and stuff like that to get more more energy back you know in terms of like in in the form of astro gems and 
yeah, it'll, get, it'll save you more time so you can spend more time like doing the stuff that you really want to do to progress, like farm golems and stuff. So for people that only want to farm um, the exotic monsters just for the exotic monsters, I do recommend farming on normal mode. It's also a really good way if you're trying to catch up, like for example, there's only a few days left in the event and you still you really really want an evil 3 version of the monster um, I recommend you farm on normal mode as well now the disadvantages of farming on normal mode is um, it's not XP efficient it's and it's also not um, gold efficient now the extreme mode has higher efficiency per energy spent in terms of XP, XP gained by the monster like when you're leveling um, an actual monster and and in gold so you do want to, like if you're trying to level a monster, if you're trying to farm for other things besides the exotic monsters, I do actually recommend extreme mode. Extreme mode does have the highest efficiency um, in terms of XP and gold. So that's just like, it, it's kind of, you have to kind of weigh the two things. Um, and normal mode also does not drop any dragon sigils. Dragon sigils are basically the things needed in order to participate in the dragon dungeons. And this is like the main thing I farm for. It's the only reason that I'm farming for story maps is only for Dragon Sigil, so for me, I'm only farming on um, Extreme Mode. I'll talk a little bit about what I, what I actually farm at the very, very end of the video, but I kind of wanted to um, you know, get through with the guide first. Now, on Hard Mode, the advantages of um, Hard Mode is since, like, if you're, in a, if you're a mid game player, your monsters might have been leveled a little bit, and to the point where you're basically able to, like, you know, these slimes on EVIL 2, you might be able to one-shot them. You know, like, your monsters might be basically just strong enough to one-shot them. And what this means is, um, you basically, you'll be able to get the same clear times as farming on on the, uh, nor or, or not normal mode. If you're farming on hard mode, um, <laughs> you'll, you'll be able to get the same clear time as farming on normal mode. I, I actually thought that this was called easy, this was called normal, and this was called hard. Or this was called extreme, but it's actually normal extreme and, and normal hard and extreme. But um, so you guys kind of get what I'm saying, right? Like if if you have a team that's basically just strong enough to one shot one of these slimes, like say for example, you can just do five thousand damage, um, and you can consistently deal that amount of damage per attack by your farming team, then you basically get the same amount of um, like farming efficiency in terms of time as farming if you're farming on hard mode versus normal mode because you one shot anything anyways so you physically your team cannot get any faster um, so that's a, definitely one of the things to consider so if you're a mid game player I think um, you you will like the if you farm on hard mode it has higher efficiency in terms of gold and XP um, as well as being able to to you're able to clear the the mode or the map at the same time as normal mode so this is definitely recommended for players that are able to do this as well like if they're also at the same time trying to level monsters um, but the disadvantages are are kind of the same as normal mode um, it does it doesn't have as high efficiency as extreme mode in terms of gold and XP it has higher efficiency in terms of player XP because um, than than extreme mode Basically, it's it's like kind of reversed. Extreme mode has like the least efficiency in terms of player XP, and then normal mode has the highest. And then hard mode is kind of just in between the two. Um, and it also has no dragon sigil drops. So if you're a late game player trying to do dragon dungeons, um, farming on hard mode doesn't really help you at all. Now I'm talking about extreme mode. Extreme mode, uh, if you're able to clear really really fast, now I might as well show what I usually farm. Um, this is what I do like every single day for this week. It's how it's it's uh it's basically just this team. Um, the Indra and the Victoria are on siphoning gems, and basically after the first turn, my Indra gets his bar full, and he just one shots everything and gets his bar full again, and then he one shots everything. And then he gets his bar full. And ah, oh, that stupid animation makes the run slow, run time slower by like two seconds. 
And that's it. That's that's the, that's all I've been doing every single week. So I get like 50, 40 seconds. If it wasn't for the animation, I could actually get 38 seconds. It's kind of it's a little bit annoying. Hate that stupid camera zoom. Um, but yeah, I, I can get a maximum runtime of 38 seconds per run. So it's like average, like you know, 40 seconds. Basically, first turn, get your bar full, second turn, kill everything, third turn, kill everything, fourth turn, kill everything, and run is finished. Um, so if you're at the point where you have like strong siphoning gems, and you want to, or you want, you can actually combine that with monsters with morale boost, to kind of make sure you always get your bar full after the first turn. Um, farming on extreme mode does give you just as much efficient, like time efficiency as farming on normal mode, if you have the monsters to do it. And for me, I'm basically only farming dragon sigils like it's the only thing i really care about i don't really even care about the i don't want to sound like a snobby asshole but like i <laughs> i'm not even trying okay i'm not even i'm not even trying to get the gemini's i'm just they're they're like a bonus thing the only thing i i care about is the dragon sigils like i like this is this is my this is my jam like this is the only thing that um that that makes me happy in this game, all right? Just farming dragons in the in the weekends. It's like the most exciting thing for me. It's more exciting than summoning for me. Like when I do dragon runs and see like a siphoning gem drop, it's like so much better than it's it's even better than like summoning a nat five for me. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I do. So I'm basically just only farming on dragon sigils, which is why I'm farming on extreme mode. Now extreme mode has. Um, actually a lot more advantages than the other modes because I this is actually a, something I'm personally like I have personal experience with because on extreme mode um, there is actually a way for you to because of how high the gold income is on extreme mode per energy Ooh. extreme mode also has highest highest XP um, you know like highest XP efficiency as well but because of how efficient it is to farm gold on extreme mode, you can basically infinitely farm this without really losing too much. Because what I do every single week is I basically I farm like what I'm doing this week um, is I, I was I was farming Star Sanctuary, and if you're farming on Star Sanctuary, you're actually losing a little bit of Astro Gems doing this. Um, but I farm on Star Sanctuary. And I basically use Astro Gems refill. Get a whole few million gold, and then I turn that gold. I use I I do sliming. Um, if you don't know what sliming is, I can definitely link that as well. It's basically farming and evolving um, slimes to Evo three, and it's it basically just converts your gold back into astro gems, and then you use your astro gems to refill for energy, and then you use your energy to get more gold, and you just complete this. You just repeat the cycle over and over again. You're basically able to kind of farm for free. Um, without really losing on losing out on anything um, so that's actually really really nice being able to do that now the other thing is um, if you're farming on maps that are above star sanctuary if you're farming on sky falls or slumbering city on extreme the efficiency on this map is actually so high that you will actually get more gold like every single time that you convert um, the gold into astro gems you actually get more astro gems so you're, you're making astro gems you're basically farming more astro gems while you are getting sigils um, getting event monsters and yeah that's it like getting sigils and getting event monsters i think that's the only thing you can really get on this story mode um so yeah that's that's definitely really really nice um so yeah, that's that's basically the comparison between the three modes: um, extreme, normal, extreme, and uh, hard. Yes, hard. Had a had a brain cramp just now. Um, so yeah, that is that is pretty much it for for this video. Now, as a little bit of a bonus, I guess I might as well do do this little thing for fun, uh, which is to rebirth some monsters and maybe I can get a, a dark Gemini. Because it is the Gemini event right now, so I'm I'm actually gonna <laughs> gonna throw in some uh, Cosmos that I got from Star Sanctuary and see if I can get a Dark one. If I get a Dark one, I'll Evil Three it in this video. If I don't, then it'll just you know it'll just be too bad. Oh, all right, I got a Dark Coco, which is um, close but no cookie. But I, I am all, almost at the guaranteed one, so maybe I can get a maybe I can get a dark one during my guaranteed summon. Ooh, I, I can't use that. Uh, 
That was a little bit close. Alright, I think this is the 20th, right? Come on, please give me a dark one so I can evil through it. Ah, uh, give me another light one. I think I already have three lights, but it's not too bad. I can use them for, um... I can either raise two for collection purposes, or I can, uh... Use them for rebirth in the future. But yeah, that's unfortunate. I didn't. I didn't get a dark one in my guaranteed one, and so that actually concludes my video. Got 200 astro gems here. It's definitely pretty nice. Um, if you have any questions on like where um, team building for farming teams, I think I am kind of the expert on that. Like I, I the only thing I focus on most in in Monster Super League is trying to get my farm time as fast as possible. So it's like kind of the the thing I focus on. I, I try to I try to um, get highest farm efficiency. You know, that's that's literally the only thing I'm interested in progressing in because I, I think that if I can get higher efficiency, I can farm more than any, anybody else, and I can get get better gems, and I can farm even faster than before. And the cycle just keeps going until I reach a limit where I can't go any faster, um, like a, like an actual physical limit of how many turns it takes for me to, to clear something. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.